Well, this is clearly the spot for Bluegill. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us. Protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton, and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. 
Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. It's just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. So you, you saw Pinkerton's, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. What did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. So, how are you? Say, Morgan! Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Excuse me? You know, <coughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some. Sure, I'll buy you some hair pomade. <laughs> Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. I reckon we should both just forget this ever happened. Surrounded by icebergs. Slowly starving. Then... Oh, hey, Arthur. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? These sharks. This is boat, just a feast on the corpses. This? My lady. Morning, Arthur. Tough. Everyone behaving themselves Daddy, around tough. here? Hardly. See, well, sharks. I'm sure you have it under That's control. All right then, Arthur. Tough as arriving in a new city. Both your parents newly dead. No one looking after you except some scumbags you meet on the street. Folks starving. People desperate. <sighs> well, how old were you? Nine. It's nine years old I've been living on my wits. <laughs> Chance to see that. Well, that'd be a joy. You know, I'll tell you, sharks are nothing compared to human beings. Now, maybe you're right. I guess all life is brutal in its own way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's all just a miserable waste of time. <laughs> Appalling. Dreadful. You know, maybe that's the point. Make a big pot. I'm starving. Oh, Arthur. I 
The man who saved my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mm. You gotta find us some food or some money, Arthur. I know. Thank you. There he is. <laughs> Always busy. Somebody has to do it. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Now yeah, I hear you. All city for her tree and all. It all counts, all Pearson. World traveling and roaming around. I spot a fair maiden, so oh, lovely. Gently on her, I did say. She told a <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. So scared it would soil. Morgan. I out with hey, a Pearson. Phoenix went pouring for oil. I hadn't been boring six inches or more. The oil from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass, looked up and smiled, said, Bear down on your auger, for I know you struck oil. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery got to fire in some ways. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> 